Good job, buddy. L -l -l listen, listen, listen. It's like it's like this. It's, it's like this a lot. Um, I, I don't want you to ever do that again. And, and, and if you do, if I do what, Tuck? I'll bite you. You will not bite your daddy. You, you, you shouldn't try me. I'm, I'm a big boy now. I'm, I'm all grown up and stuff. You love me too much to bite me, Tuck. Yeah, I got you fooled. You do not. Hey, everybody. Camper Van Kevin here. How are y'all doing today? Hmm. <laughs> Me? I'm right as rain. Things are good. Enjoying my time here in Quartzsite. So what are we doing today? Um, a while back, someone gave me a gift. And it is a doggy DNA. Well, why would I, why would I get a doggy DNA? Uh, well, we've got the three Yorkies, uh, Martini, without <clears throat> without a doubt, she's 100% Yorkie. No way, no how, anything's different. Uh, baby May May, uh, she came from a, a crazy lady breeding Yorkies, but she had good papers. So I know that she's 100% Yorkie. However, Tucker was a free Yorkie. And uh, for those of you that are new to the channel, need to watch one of my most favorite videos I ever made. It's where, here it is here or here. I think I'm gonna say here. I'm gonna roll the dice, it's here. Um, I had taken baby May May and Martini camping. And we were in Cornelia, Georgia. And we went to the Burger King for breakfast after we uh, broke camp down at the river in Clayton. And this lady was in her pickup truck and almost ran into me. I had baby May May on one shoulder, Martini on the other shoulder. So she saw us when she drove by us, almost hit us, blew the horn, blah, 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 pulled us over. She says, you want another Yorkie? And I was like, well, tell me more about it. It's, it's a boy Yorkie, this, that, and the other. And, uh. Well, the whole story's over there. But I, I didn't really think I would keep him. I thought I would rehome him because it sounded to me like he was in a desperate situation. Long story short, he's been with us ever since. But everybody's always wondered, changing hands here. We'll talk about this. We'll talk about this in a minute. Everybody's always wondered if he was 100% Yorkie because he's so big. Now, I've heard of big Yorkies before. Um... When I got Tucker, he was 14 pounds, but he was uh, emaciated. Uh, in fact, when I took him to his first grooming, they threatened to call the ASPA or ASPC on us thinking that we had abused him. And I, I'm like, no, 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 we, we just saved him because he was, he was just bones and he had cuts and scrapes and scars and it was bad. The lady that rescued him, if you watch the video, uh, she got him, took him home, and her dog almost killed him. So that's where he got all the... Anyway. So what is what is Tucker? Tucker, we know for certain he's a beloved pet of the uh, RV YouTube community for certain. Uh, yeah, yeah. And and I've, I've resisted knowing for certain uh what breed he was i think he may be a silky yorkie but anyway this doggy dna is going to tell us and it's going to take i got to do a a cheek swab on him and it'll take several weeks to get the results so i'm not sure when this video is going to come out and there's the monkey now man it, it, it don't matter it don't matter what, what, what i am J just just love me what did you do with the cushion behind you? 
You did it this morning, sitting there drinking your coffee. I think I did. But, uh, do you remember your mama and daddy, Tucker? It was a long time ago. You've been my daddy since I was about, I think, maybe six or eight months old. You are one sweet boy. One sweet boy. Let's fix this. This back here is bugging me. Man, your, your, your OCD gets away from you. Uh, don't fix it, don't fix it. Just live with it. It's therapy. Just don't, don't fix it. I gotta do it, Tuck. I can't help it. Felix is right. You got the OCDs. You don't have fleas, you got the OCDs. Oh, you gonna come up this way? Sweet boy. Sweet boy. So we're gonna do the cheek swab on you this morning. So what is this black wall behind you, Kevin? I'll show you. Well, this is a, a, one of my spare comforters that I keep um, for the bed. And Bigfoot puts a bed for like a single, single mattress up here. Uh, I gave the mattress away and I use it for storage. And what I've done, I've slid it out to here and thrown that mattress off on it. And covered <clears throat> the driving area. Ooh, I feel the cold air come under there. And that glass, that windshield and stuff, you know, it doesn't hold the heat very well. So I use this to, in attempt to try to keep it warmer in here. And it makes a big, big, big difference. Just closing off that cab. Let's see, back to this. <clears throat> Let me pull this out and let's look at it. So it has its own box here. Just send back. Oops. Here are the instructions. Peel back swab. Obtain cheek cells by firmly rolling bristles between cheek and gums for 15 seconds. Insert swab handles in the hole of carton to dry. Repeat steps one, three on all swabs. Log in. Blah, 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 blah. So, I gotta activate it before I send it in. So that's what we're gonna get done today. What you doing, boy? Listen, listen. I think he's, I think he's worried that I won't love him because he's not he may not be full Yorkie. It's been a big question on the channel. For how many years? Seven years. You know what? If you come back as a poodle, I'll still love my tuck tuck. He's so smart. He's such a good boy. Yeah. Daddy loves you no matter what. I just wanna know. Don't you wanna know? I just, I can't, I can't understand. He come from such a bad place. There's two little, he had two little boys that would pick him. He had a little uh, Chihuahua brother, sister that stayed with him. And these two little boys, they pick him up by his back feet and go round and round with him and throw him into walls and throw him into poles and stuff. Then they'd lock him in the bedroom and the bathroom for days at a time with no food and water. And uh, I, I can't I can't see any damage that they did other than he's he's kind of clingy, he's kind of needy. And don't, don't be telling my business no more. I think you're wonderful, Tuck. So it doesn't matter what you come back as, we're all gonna love you just the same, okay? So I have the swabs here, peeled to open. Tucker doesn't know, he don't have a clue what's going on. Make sure my fingers don't touch these swabs. So I gotta stick it in his mouth and roll it around. I gotta do it two times, Tuck. You ain't talking. The cat got your tongue? When people visit us, they're always get they look at Tuck and they wait for him to talk. 
He don't always talk in front of people he don't know. Here we go. You haven't had any food this morning, have you? No, no, no. They say if you have food, you can't, you can't, uh, we can't do it. It'll mess up the test. Did you take a, did you take a bite somewhere? Don't know about. Right, here we go. Let's see, right here. You gotta do it 15 seconds. <laughs> Fifteen seconds, Tuck. Is it tickly? You are not making this easy, buddy. I'm sorry. Isn't he a good boy? Put up with that. He's trying so hard to be good, but it tickles. I got it now. Good boy. I think. I think we're in there. I think we were in there. There's one. Uh, you're going to find out I was a Labrador. No, Tuck, I love you either way. Come on, one more time. <clears throat> one more time. Just one more time. 15 seconds. That's all we need. You can do it. Man, you got to quit the silliness. Once more. Okay, one more time. Here we go. Here we go. You're a good boy, Tuck. You good boy, don't bite me. There we go. I don't think we got 15 seconds. Are we in there? Are we... Good boy. Thank you for not biting me, buddy. You, you don't know you, you ain't quit. I don't know. So I'll set these. Might have touched my hand. Yeah, yeah. You touch your hand, you come back as an Indian. I'll come back on Indian DNA. You're not an Indian Yorkie talk. So let those dry. Put it back in a packet. Stick it in the mail. We'll see you soon. When I know, you'll know. Hey everybody, <laughs> it's me. It has been three weeks since I sent off the test for Tucker's DNA and I got the results in. Okay guys, come on, let's load up. Come on Martini, slow poke. You gotta tell everybody about Tucker's DNA, go. Hurry up, Martini. You take forever. You got that right, Tuck. You're moving awful slow today, Martinis. She fell off the bed this morning. I think she stove up. Yeah, I saw her. She fell off the bed. Easy, baby. Easy, baby. Move, Tuck. Woo. It got cold here in Quartzsite last night, 26 degrees. Had my cover up here to block the uh, cab off from the rest of the RV. It got breezy. Okay, Tuck, come over here. Uh, uh, uh. Stay on that side. So, uh, Tucker, we got your uh, we got your DNA, and uh, I'm gonna tell you what it is. I know, I know, I know. I'm, I'm a dome the pitcher. <laughs> I like that smile. No, no, no. You're not, you're not, you're not dome the pitcher. I, I'm a Rottweiler. Uh, no. Who are you looking at? He's wanting to come over here and sit beside me, showing good restraint. I, I, you know, I, I didn't ever meet my daddy or nothing. Uh, so, yeah, I know my mama was a Yorkie. Uh, so, no, I'm not a full-blooded uh, security dog, but... I'm, I'm not a full-blooded security dog, but... Um, I know, I know, I, I know I got big dog, big dog uh, daddy. My, my daddy was rolling stones, what my mom said. Tucker, you ain't right. Everybody's a comedian now, right? 
So I'm going to tell you what you are, Tuck. You are a full-blooded Yorkie. No, I'm not. You're full-blooded Yorkie. Man, are you sure? I'm real sure. In fact, this uh, dog DNA test company, they found some relatives of Tucker. He had 14 that shared the same DNA. But the only one that had a picture, look at all this up here. The, the only one that had a picture, can't get it out of the shot was a Yorkie named Sadie from New Jersey. Here's a picture of her. And uh, they were able to tell me uh, his coat color, uh, his coat style, short and curly. Uh, he should weigh 18 pounds, up to 18.7 pounds. Uh, he's heavier than that. Um, the genetic dispositions for uh, problems, they didn't find any. So, uh, all in all, it was a, a pretty neat thing to, to do. And even if he didn't come back full Yorkie, we all still love him, right? I don't know what I'd do without him. But, uh, yeah, took three weeks. But now we know. Tucker is a full-blooded Yorkie like his sister's Martini and baby May May. So there you go. Okay, that makes today's video. So I'm going to end it where? Right here. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Hey, we'll see you again soon. And you guys take care. And as always, I give God the glory for my life. Jesus Christ, he's my savior. See you next time. Bye. Uh, may, may, maybe I, I got, my daddy was a saber-toothed tiger. Uh, tuck. Buddy, that's not how this works. You don't know?